Authorities investigating a deadly shooting in Pompano Beach. Let's get right to Seven, Senor Garcia. She's live there where officers found a man shot dead. Danielle. That's right, Lorena. And we know the building or the facility, rather, where he was found right outside of it. It was a Department of Corrections facility, and the man was found shot and killed right here outside of the fence. We're still working to find out if that man worked here or lived here at this facility, but now detectives are still searching for the person who pulled the trigger. Surveillance videos showing detectives combing for clues after a fatal shooting in Pompano Beach. It happened just before midnight off Atlantic Boulevard and Dixie Highway. According to the Broward Sheriff's Office, a man was found shot and killed. The suspect ran off before responding officers could get there. His body found right outside the fence of a Department of Corrections transitional housing facility. Neighbors told us off camera that this specific area usually has a lot of men coming in and out at night. Detectives spent the overnight hours taking photos of the aftermath and collecting evidence, trying to piece together exactly what happened. In the daylight, we saw men walking around the facility. According to the website, it's a private center called Turning Point Bridge, where recently released inmates go to transition back into society, complete with substance abuse treatment and work release. The people living in the minimal security facility are free to come and go. What is unclear is if the man who died here was living there. So we learned that this facility is operated privately. I have reached out to the director of the facility for a statement, but so far have not heard back just yet. Meanwhile, the Broward Sheriff's Office is asking that if anybody around here has any information at all to call the Broward County Crime Stoppers. That number is 954-493-TIPS. And remember, you can remain anonymous. Reporting live in Pompano Beach, I'm Danielle Garcia, 7 News.